with Marilyn Living. Welcome to Maryland Spotlight. I'm Kim Knight. Well, Halloween is one of my favorite times of year. Shopping for costumes, not so much, but have you ever considered a goodwill? for your shopping costume adventure. Lisa Rusiniak, uh, sorry, did it again, president and CEO of Goodwill Industries of the Chesapeake. Thanks for coming back. Thank you for having me. So it's a great place to shop for Halloween costumes. Absolutely. We have thousands, thousands of items, um, vintage clothing, clothing from every um, decade, and so you can come in and get tons of ideas and pretty inexpensively put together a whole, a whole um, ensemble. Yeah, it sounds great. Now, I understand you have some models today. We do. Bring them on up. First, we have Gina Vargas. She's the store manager for our Towson store on Joppa Road. And she is dressed as Frankie Stein from Monster High. And she put this costume together for $25. Oh, that's amazing. Everything purchased because at Because I tell Goodwill. you, some of those stores, it is really big bucks. Yeah. All right, and who do we have here? And here we have Shandana. She is our store manager at Owings Mills, and she is dressed up like a selfie. And so the only thing, Donna, is you're not going to be able to get any candy because you're carrying that stuff around, <laughs> so you're going to need an assistant. <laughs> and she put that costume together for $12. Oh, that's amazing. Well, thank you, ladies. Happy Halloween. <laughs> now, um, tell me about your fundraiser with the Ravens. That sounds like a really good time, too. It really is. We, we have been so fortunate to have the Ravens uh, sponsor this uh, event for us. We're in our 16th year. We've raised nearly $2 million. Wow. Um, every year, it's about 135000 that we generate. It's our only fundraiser. And all the um, Ravens players come. They all dress up. We have about 20 Ravens players that come. And it's open, open bar. We have food stations, and you can play games all night. Dave & Buster's closes the whole uh, restaurant down for us to have this event on Monday, October 12th. October 12th, and hanging with the Ravens in costume. That sounds like a, a blast. Well, now, Goodwill does so much. Um, tell me how Goodwill helps people who are struggling to find work. Right. So, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but our retail stores provide the funding that enable us to provide training for, for people who really have either lost their job um, through no fault of their own, they're coming off of welfare, um, or public assistance, um, even coming out of jail. We help everybody try to get back on their feet. And so all the proceeds from what we sell in the stores fund those programs. Mm -hmm. And last year we helped over 30,000 people um, navigate, you know, get resources, get jobs, and uh, 2,500 actually got jobs. We work with about um, 250 employers, and we work one-on-one -on -one with the employers so we know how to best match their needs with uh, the people that we're helping to train. Well, Lisa Rusiniak, thank you so much for being here, and we want to get everybody out to that fundraiser. So go, let's see, give to goodwill.org is the website where they can get all the information. Correct. Okay, yes. Lisa, thanks for Great. joining us thank again. Thank you. And thanks for being here on Maryland Spotlight. I'm Kim Knight.